what's up guys it's your boy skinny penis here and today we're going to be talking about frolny the mechanist who is receiving a straightforward yet effective rebalance and it's basically all of his attacks are getting a damage boost right here damage increase and that's the change so here i am on charmop's account and he has frolny he has a plus one frolny with a five star blessing and right now he's built in stone skin and instinct a really good combination here because especially in the higher echelons of Labyrinth, you want to be going fast. So we have some damage on him, we have um, stone skin on him to give him a little bit of protection at the beginning of a fight. Let's go over his skills because I have no idea what this guy does. I don't have any mythical champions on my account, so this is going to be new for me. So on his first form, he has attack one enemy on his A1, ignoring 5% of the target's defense for each buff on this champion. This Pokemon's damage is based off of HP. And his second move is an attack one enemy, stealing two buffs from a targeted enemy, and this effect cannot be resisted. I'm pretty sure this means you don't need accuracy. If this attack is critical, repeats the attack once. And I'm wondering, if it repeats, does it steal a buff again? His A3 is an AoE, and the damage of this skill increases by 30% if his max HP, if Frolny's max HP, is higher than the target's max HP, which is probably going to be most of the time, because you innately want to build him with high HP because of his damage, right? Passive is Limitless Science. This champion's crit damage is increased by 1% for every 1000 HP that they have. Increases this champion's max HP by 20% up to 100% and speed up to 100 points whenever this champion kills an enemy. Resets each round, which is really cool. I don't know if this applies too well in Hydra. I don't know how he does in Hydra. But still, if we're talking about wave clearing, Doom Tower, um, Centranos, other content like that, uh, this is gonna be pretty huge. Like he's just getting more powerful and powerful. And then when we transform, he moves on over to a very nice Dwarven mechanic setup here. This look like a Dwarven armor. His A1 attacks one enemy twice. Each hit increases this champion's defense by 5% up to 100%. So every time he attacks in this form, his defense goes up by 100%. This Digimon's damage is based on defense in his second form. I'm wondering if this stacks and stays stacked when he goes back to his base form here and you know, vice versa. But yeah, um, his A2 is gonna be attack one enemy, healing this champion by 50% of their max HP, balances the HP of all allies. That's a move that I really like. The HP levels of all allies will be brought up to the level of the ally with the highest HP. Then for his A3, we're looking at ally protect as well as placing unkillable on himself, then placing a shield on all allies with less than 50% HP. Shield is proportional to this champion's defense. Like there are so many applications for this. And I'm not even talking about the reflect damage. I'm, I'm also talking about this right here. Decreasing somebody's accuracy permanently by 50% is huge. He's taking intimidating presence to strengthen his team's aura, weakening the team's aura. You also get a whopping 11,000, almost 12K HP. Some extra defense, attack, crit damage, 45 crit damage, extra resistance and accuracy. So approaching 100K, ideally for damage dealers with uh, HP, you wanna make sure you're getting as close to 100K plus if you can. Almost 4k defense is good. Remember that when he transforms, he gets a defense boost. This is a little bit of HP here, but this is also good because of his damage. Back in his base form, we're looking at almost 4k defense, 221 speed, which for nukers is pretty good. Now it's not the best, and I'm only pointing this out because I know some of you guys are gonna tell me, hey, Burrito, in Live Arena, Gold 3 and Gold 4, you want to have like 270 speed on your nukers which would be nice but not everybody can attain that and i'm pretty sure he didn't want to break his builds on any of his other champions like his narcis or his Allah as the sun bearer but we do have 100 percent crit rate and we got 288 crit damage now in his alternate form changes a little bit we're getting a little bit more defense about 10 more attack 275 crit damage does that drop it drops a little bit and then all in all we have about 300 resistance 176 accuracy as always do not blindly copy masteries but go ahead and feel free to blindly copy masteries if you're looking at this as sort of a guide but i wouldn't call this a guide because uh this is more of a showcase i don't have this champion so i can't speak too much about him he's got a lot of gems i just realized and we're taking counter-attack masteries 
we're taking the decreased damage from AoE tax by 5%. Me personally, I probably would have taken this route here. I probably would have taken resistance, uh, improved parry, heals and shields, and then take resurgence down here, and then still with the counterattack masteries. And I'd probably take this same exact thing here, whirlwind of death, increased speed every time he kills somebody, ruthless ambush, an extra 8% for damage on the first hit that he does. So if he nukes, then he's gonna hit hard, hard dur, I should say. And then whenever um, these things are here, these debuffs, he increases damage to those champions. Is it? Yeah, with those champions. Cycle of Violence to reset a cooldown of a skill, chance of, and then extra damage whenever you kill somebody. And then of course, the legendary Helm Smasher. Now, for those of you wondering about specific pieces of gear, here are the specific pieces of gear with the stats focusing on damage and survivability, but you know, HP and defense kind of go hand in hand. You definitely want speed on speed, especially if you're going to take him into arena. HP crit damage. Most damage dealers, most nukers want to take crit damage for the amulet, and this is pretty good too. So let's go ahead and take him into classic arena first, and we'll see how we do. Uh, there's this team here already. I don't know how this works, but I'm going to, you know, just try this out. I don't have the king and the queen. I don't have uh, Frolny, so we'll see, and we'll just test out this damage. I do have Mikage though. And our skills are put on cooldown. Luckily, with with um, champions, uh, mythical champions, we don't have to worry too much about being locked out. I don't think mythical champions care about being locked out. So here, Frolny transforms into his defense-based attack. And it looks like we have our options here. We can place ally protect. So survivability here. We can do an A2. And his A1 increases the champion's defense. Let's go ahead and try it out on Taurus here. Taurus is going to be our target. And we're looking at 20,000. All right, let's test out his A1. 57, or yeah, 5,700. Narcissus is freaking nasty, dude. All right, let's hit the A1. A wee weak hit for about 4,100. Uh, let's hit the A1 again. Yeah, 50 or 58. 70 or 67 and let's just test Foley's a2 again 21 so it looks like even on udk who's a defense based champion it was about 20. a1 hit for about 59 the highest end was 59 on mithrala all right let's check his a2 against farima and it looks like 7700 yeah 7700 let's test out his aoe Looks like 35, 35 on UDK. Let's test it out again. 54K on his A1. It looks like his A1 is actually smacking a little bit uh, nicer. So 22, 26 on the high end on Armand's. 7K on his A1. Let's hit this. So 12, 12, let's hit Armand's. For 60K, his A1 actually hits pretty hard. 20k on Marius. That was actually pretty funny. Got an extra turn. And then 38. Well, let's just let's just hit the A1 here. Oh, it's an AoE. Fuck. Okay. Alright, let's check the A2. That's 116. Again, let's try the A1. So 37, 35 AoE. 141, 134 I saw. Let's check his which is, I didn't see it happen too fast. Again, let's check the A3, 160. Let's try to slow this down. Can we see any numbers on his A2? 134, 100. So in his like base form, Frolny seems to be doing, he seems to be like doing slightly well in terms of damage against Narcis, but at the same time, he's a mythical. I feel like he should, do, he should be doing a lot more. Two against Apothecary. 103, 126, and now 136, 99. Apothecary again to compare. 133, 147. So kind of just about the same. So I'd be interested to see when the buff does go live, how much more damage he's doing. A few moments later. What's up, guys? So Frolny got a buff. And last week, Charmop let me onto his account. So what the fuck is all this? Why does this look different? Really, guys? My cats, again. This entire time, you guys are quiet. Now that I I need to record. Um, yeah, so uh, Frolny. 
I've only got a buff, and last week I tested him out. He, in my opinion, I don't think he was that bad. And that's probably because, like, I have never used Frolny before that that uh, that test. Um, but now that I've gotten, like, a chance to use him and everything, I have somewhat of an idea of how he stands within, uh, in terms of damage, right? So, I think he was hitting for, like, 30 on average. I think on the high end, like, if we're talking dungeons, you know, you could do your regular dungeon test. And I'm going to check everything again. Um, so if I say anything incorrect right now, just know that it's because I haven't, um, played with the Frolny for, uh, like a week now. So, and my memory is already kind of crap. I don't know who to ban here. Oh, fuck. Um, shit. I don't even know what these guys do. I remember this, this asshole though. Um, yeah, uh, let's go with the sheep lead. Yeah, so um, now we're going to test out Frolny's damage and see where he stands now that he's got this buff. Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to check the recording to see what the damage was back then. So if I say anything incorrect right now, do not uh, blame me too much. What is a... Uh... All right. What is it? What? What? Does it is it just me or does, do things look... Why do they look smaller? They look smaller. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? That... Marius! 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 <laughs> what the fuck was- Marius! Maka- Makage! <laughs> you mythicals, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? I just came here to have a good time. <laughs> I feel so attacked right now. <laughs> what the fuck? Um... All right, uh, attacks all enemies, HP burns, fully restores all allies, destroyed max HP, strengthen and increase res, uh, sure. Oh God, what, what is she doing? What, what do these guys do? Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna transform. That seems like the only thing we can do. And then um, attacks an enemy, unkillable shield. I, I guess, I, I don't really know. And again, don't take this as my word for like what's good or not because i don't even know I, I barely even play raid and um you can't really trust somebody who doesn't actually use the champion on a regular basis so take my word as take any cc's word for a grain as a grain of salt for a with a grain of salt wow we got smacked up the ass holy shit dude this guy straight up just took my ass, put it on a silver platter, and served it to me. Here's your ass. Enjoy. Fucking hell, bro. All right, I, I kind of see where this is going. So we're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to call that. Uh, wow. All right. I think that, that we're going to chop that up to... Uh, chalk that up to human error on my end. That, that, my bad. Charm up. Let me on his count, and the first thing I do is just... Uh lose um i think what we'll do here is since Laverina just finished we're going to test him out test Froling out um in regular arena and we'll take him into dragon again and see all right let's try to remove the stone skin uh it doesn't happen weak hit and we're going to i don't have ancora so let's test out the a1 of course 6k and we'll just hit the a1 again Let's try removing here. And we get it. We get it. We get it. Get it. Got it. Good. And let's just do this so we don't hit. Okay. Now we're going to try out Brolney's first form, the A1. And we're hitting for 39. All right. Let's leave and then go back in. And let's get rid of these guys. We'll just, uh, just do this. Let's transform and then try to remove again. Oh, got the stone skin. We'll just hit the A1. All right, now we're going to try a first form A2. We got the buff steal. Can't be resisted. If it crits, repeats attack. We're looking at 53, 44. Okay. And I'm using the same champion to go up against the same exact thing. 
uh, because I realized that was going around uh, when I was doing arena against different champions and obviously different builds. It, you can kind of get a sense of where, like for all these damages, but at the same time, because there was just so much variation, it's not the most accurate description or the most, the, the most accurate showcase of what I was trying to show. So uh, that's why I'm going up against the same champion. Now we're doing is A3, form one, 17. Uh, now that I'm doing this, I, am I am I weak hitting? Is this a weak hit? No, no, I'm I'm, I'm strong hitting. Okay, so that third attack didn't hit too hard. Let me see. Is a two here? Eleven K. Is it me or is it just kind of underwhelming? And this is without decreased defense or, or weaken. Ideally, you'd want to have decreased defense and weaken. And of course. And we might even come back here with decreased defense and, and weaken also. Oh wait, and that was uh, A1, 21. That was an accident, but yeah. And we're gonna transform. Let's see, the last one hit for like 12K, I think. And then this is his A1, 10K, 8K. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go to uh, Dragon and see how he does against stage 20. With um, we'll bring in the decrease defense and weaken again, and we'll see. Let's see here. We'll go Frolny and Lydia. I'm not putting him in the lead just so that we don't uh, mess up anything by giving him a boost to his own HP since uh, his damage is based on HP at times. I should have taken that that um thing off. All right, let's test his A1 against Horden, 126. Okay. The double battles. So 126. Decrease defense and weaken. Was it 126 again? Yeah, so 152 that time. Okay. Check the A2. 176. I feel like he hits harder in his first form. There you go, 195, 195 that time, 156, 195. Yeah, his A2 is definitely a hard hitter there. Decrease defense. And let's try his A3. Wow, 176, 161. Pretty sure I'll uh, check that again. His AOE hits pretty hard. Maybe I should just leave him in his third, uh, first form for something like Hydra, 126, 155, 180. Those are pretty good, those are pretty good. Try him out again, but we're gonna make him transform. Test out his other two moves. All right, check his A1, 30. So in his second form, I think his damage on his second form is actually based off of not HP, but his defense. So I think because he has a little bit of less, a little less defense, uh, 8,700. Yeah, so I think that's, that's probably what it is. So like I'm looking at him, and from what I can remember, and I'd probably have to check the, re the recording again, but from what I remember, he's not hitting all that crazily hard. The gear is still the same. We didn't change the gear. This is the same exact setup from the first time that we did it. We purposely didn't change the gear because we wanted to have the most uh, apt, closest um, comparison. Why does everything seem smaller? Yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, I, like, from again, from what I remember, and you don't want to trust my memory, but from what I do remember, he's hitting somewhat may, about the same, maybe even a, a little bit more. But I don't know if this damage buff to Froly was enough for make for to, to make me be excited to pull him. Like he's not doing anything that I think was, I guess, amazing. Like yeah, he's got you know hard hitting moves on his A1. He's got the ally protect. He's got the shield the unkillable. But if I saw red lightning and I saw Froly. I think I would just be like, oh, that's nice.